Mutter's milk. Mmm. Today we're making mutter's milk. Now, if you're not familiar with this term, this is actually a fictional alcoholic beverage that was found in the city of Canton on Higgins Moon. What the heck am I talking about? I'm talking about Firefly, of course, the television series, which was unfortunately canceled, and all of us diehard brown coats don't understand why. But they did make a movie called Serenity, which was the spaceship. Anywho, let's make a beverage, shall we? Now, this particular version is going to be non-alcoholic, but you can always toss in a shot or two of your favorite whiskey at the end if you want to make it alcoholic yourself. So what do you need to do is first off, you need a blender. One banana, and we're just gonna unceremoniously peel it and dump it in there. I like splitting it in half while I'm dumping it in there. It's not necessary. Let me get rid of these peels. Next, you're gonna need a half a cup of oats. I'm just using old fashioned generic oats. Use the oats of your choice. I've used steel cut oats in this recipe before and they worked out just fine. For our sweetener, we're going to be using whole pitted dates. I today am using California Deglet Noir. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but anywho, use the dates that you like best. Just make sure that they're pitted and we're gonna add four to our blender. Before my ice melts, I'm gonna go ahead and add five ice cubes. These are just this size, so based on whatever ice cube device you have, you may wanna adjust the amount. Next, you wanna add half a cup of plant-based milk. Today, I am using Ripple, which is a pea-based milk. My favorite plant-based milk is cashew, but Brian wanted me to use the Ripple, so that's what we're doing. Next up is half a cup of plant-based yogurt. I'm actually using our homemade plant-based yogurt. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can make your own batch. I feel the addition of the yogurt and the oats in this particular shake, beverage, whatever you wanna call it, is really important to give it that unique flavor that you would expect might be in something called Mudder's Milk. And if I'm not pronouncing clearly enough, it is mudders, like M-U-D-D-E-R apostrophe S, not mothers, as the mudders was a slang term for the clay miners who drank this beverage. Next is one tablespoon of pea protein. Today we're using naked pea. Next up is two tablespoons of peanut butter powder. My favorite is PB Fit. I find PB Fit to have the best flavor and the best sweetness level than any of the other peanut butter powders. The only thing left is ground cinnamon and vanilla extract. I'm gonna be adding a half teaspoon of each. I currently don't know where my half teaspoon measure is, so I have my fourth teaspoon measure and I'm just gonna put two of those in there. If the plant-based milk that you're using is the vanilla flavored version, then you might not need to add the vanilla extract. All right, now it's time to get to blending. You may find that because there isn't a, an extreme amount of liquid in here because the ice has to melt before it becomes liquidous, obviously, then you may find pulsing rather than full-on blending works better. But if you're using a high-powered mixer like a Vitamix, get one of these. These spatulas are the perfect spatula for working with these kind of blenders. And honestly, I think this would be the best spatula for working in any kind of blender. Okay, so I started off at three on my Vitamix and then cranked it up slowly all the way to 10 and blended it for a minute. At this point, I'm gonna use my spatula and make sure to scoop all the sides and I'm going to blend again. Non più dry farfalon yamoroso Notte giorno di torno girano Okay, so I blended it another full minute because I really wanna make sure that I break down all the oats and particularly the dates. Because I want the date sweetness to be more uniform throughout the beverage rather than just a, a clump of sweetness. Though sometimes when you find a clump of sweetness, that's kind of fun too. <laughs> Not she said, what do you know, the more? 
Now, as you saw by that pour, this is super rich and creamy. Uh, and this is a full-on meal. This isn't just a, a snack beverage. This entire recipe is just shy of 600 calories. But you have to remember, this is full of protein, potassium, fiber, lots of great nutrients are in here. So it's not just junk food. But keep that in mind when you pour you a glass of it. It is so yummy. It has the consistency of a really nice milkshake without ice cream. So make some butter some milk and go watch Firefly. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Non più vrai questi pei panachini.